Hi. Hey. 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 Last time we talked to you, we're beginning the same way we got with Mitch. But where the bathroom is to show you were working. Where the bathroom is to show people were talking about something that's yes. not very nice. Yes. What's your response to the response that the show has gotten? Um, I, I think the show kind of speaks for itself. I mean, what I overheard Mitch saying that I don't, I don't read the stuff and it's, I, I, I don't do it out of any disrespect. It's just, I kind of have to focus on the work and I can't, I kind of can't get distracted by it because I have so much to kind of manage. So, um, that, that was the show we were developing. That was the direction we were trying to go in. I kind of have to, um, commit to that. And the other thing is too, um, I, I help work on some of the other stuff. So I, I don't think, um, I think by changing something, I don't think we're trying to say the other stuff doesn't exist or it isn't relevant. It's just we were trying to go in a different direction with Batman, and um, um, the only way that we can kind of prove it is by doing it and then showing it. You know, so um, 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 I, I think that we made a choice to go in a different direction and focus on different aspects of the character. I think by doing that, I don't think we were saying that that other stuff isn't relevant. We were just trying to figure out a different kind of fresher take on the character. Um, I, I'm aware of that other stuff, but by not doing it, I don't think we're saying it's not important or whatever. Or You know, also... Knowing some of the challenges of, of working in CG, I, I knew doing things like Art Deco or maybe even Gothic, that was going to be difficult. So even visually, the, the look of the show was also kind of based on what we can do with the technology. Um, but, the, but then I think we, we pushed the show visually in a different way than... Um, kind of I, I think what's been seen you know tried to go more cinematic tried to kind of go more with sort of a 70s late 60s 70s um, um, detective show cop show um, crime show so uh, um, it, it's the process is longer the process is more involved um so, um, anyway, sorry, uh, did that kind of answer it or, okay. The, um, <clears throat> one thing that I know myself and a lot of other people are really appreciating that's been missing from a lot of, uh, recent adaptations of the character is straight away from the pilot onward, you know, uh, Batman is a detective again, um, was that always going to be a, a larger element of the show that it was going to be him getting back to just doing detective things um yeah I mean I mean it's also kind of a challenge but um we just thought it, 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 I, I mean visually I think that's an aspect of the Character, right? I mean, the Dark Knight detective, the the uh, kind of the film noir roots. The um, he's sort of a super cop. He's sort of Sherlock Holmes. He's you know that that was aspects of the character that we felt like, well, let's focus on that. Um, um, I don't know if that answers your question. No, it, it does. It does. So the CG element, as you've gone on with the show, and, and we have had your quote unquote learning curve with it as you've done more and more, is it becoming easier? Is it less complex? And I'm just curious how that is going. <coughs> it's, it's a different animal. I mean, there's aspects of, of that we're still doing the same, um, um, but then there's some things where we're we're more entrenched in it than it's a lot more work than I think 2D traditional animation I, I think um, because there's so much more phases of the production um, um, you design it and then you build it 
and then you f then you film it and I don't think people realize that I mean the difference before is if we wanted something we would just draw it if we needed a different angle we would just draw it and it's almost like well you don't have to draw all of it or it doesn't have to work in CG it kind of has to work and then um, the thing that I was explaining kind of to the other table is, is that um, you're 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 kind of doing lighting and effects last, and so much of what Batman is is, is the lighting, and you're kind of guessing what that's going to be like, and kind of kind of what we're doing is we're breaking the story in the script form, and then we're kind of building stuff while we're doing that. Then after this, while we're doing that, then we're storyboarding it but kind of building it, now you have to film in it. And, and um, um, but we're reviewing and reviewing and reviewing. The directors are reviewing. Butch Lukic, the uh, uh, supervising director, is kind of reviewing it. And then we have an animation supervisor that's reviewing it. And then we have like a lighting and effects guy, and that's almost like a cinematographer and a lighting guy. But imagine you're almost doing that last. You're looking at everything not fleshed out, and then you're kind of doing that face last. But so much of... There's so much stuff that there's restrictions to it now because it's physical. You're filming it now, so what you would see before is different than when you, when you film it through a lens that changes a lot of aspects of it. A lot of it changes once you light it. And I think on a TV level or on a TV budget, I don't I, I, I don't think anybody's kind of doing what we're doing. And um, But now in some ways I kind of know why people don't do it that way because it is so difficult. There's aspects of it that's similar to traditional animation, but then there's aspects of it that it's pushing more towards almost like live action but but it's it is this new hybrid and you know i i think what's what's cool about it is it's not just photorealistic what's cool about it is you're not just watching csi you know but it's cool because you're seeing this guy in a black costume you know in a black room that's something that i don't think we ever could do before in 2d animation I mean, you can put a character in there and then light them and then see them in a whole new way, you know. So um, those have been the challenges, but I think those are the things that are really kind of making the show unique. So I'm just amazed at the growth of Green Lantern the anime. I know you didn't do Green Lantern, the growth of the CG form itself already from it, Green Lantern to Metal Red. In the beginning, I was really nervous about just even approaching CG until I had seen Green Lantern and then when I saw Green Lantern I was kind of kind of relieved because I still thought TV animation TV budget I really thought things were going to look really robotic and kind of wooden and I was impressed by how much acting and how expressive um, um, the CG was um, one thing I was kind of talking to the other group about was one thing that uh, we kind of noticed in the beginning was when the characters were too expressive and too rubbery and too fluid um, 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 it, it didn't fit Batman it didn't look right it's the tone of Batman needed him to be more reserved and the world needed to be more still or quiet or realistic and that, that that's another thing I think a lot of people are used to when it's really good CG, it's really active and bouncy, and for Batman, it just didn't look right. And, and I'm sure that's maybe one complaint that people maybe have, is that it isn't more active, but it's Batman. It's Batman doesn't look right when he's moving all over the place. And it, But then also, tonally for the world, it, it's, it's a crime story. It's a crime world, so it, it needs a different tone. So... So who would you say, aside from Batman, is your favorite character from the Batman world? Um, wow. That's a tough question. Um, I mean, you know, 
I mean, not as a cop-out, but I mean, I think what we're currently doing, I do like all the characters because of how they fit together. I, I don't, I mean, I do like, I do like how different um, Alfred is now, and I like the exchange between Batman and Alfred now just by changing that up a little bit, but then even throwing Katana into the mix, their relationship is different. And, and I think what's good about it is you're seeing aspects of Batman that you haven't seen before, or you're seeing a level of Bruce Wayne you haven't seen before. I, I think that's good. I think that's good if you could just turn everything a little bit. I think it it, it helps. So. Now, Alfred is like, you know, he reminds me almost like Vinnie Jones is playing Alfred or something <laughs> like that. You know, he's so different from a Michael Caine or the regular Butler. Um, and I think it's really cool, really different. Um, was there a certain actor or something that inspired that? or? Um, the, there was a, a British actor named Harry Andrews, is who he was kind of based on a little a little bit i mean that that's originally who i was thinking of but the the character evolved from that but initially when we were talking about the character that that was the that that was the person who i was thinking of that's that's not that's you know after a point the character becomes its own character so i don't want it to make it sound like we held up that example i, I don't even think jb knows that <laughs> You know what I mean, and and I, I think that's what's good about that. I I know that. I bet you if you asked Mitch, Mitch would say, "Oh, I never knew that," or "I didn't think that was a point of it." So, I think that's I do it for my compass, or I do it tonally, so I know which direction I'm going in. But you know, um, I I think you can't be a slave to your influences either, or you're not gonna change it or it's not going to evolve into what it should turn into. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Thank you.